In this chapter, we're going to examine some basic database concepts. We're going to look at what a database is. We're going to introduce relational database management systems, such as MySQL. And we're going to take a look at the structure of a typical database. To begin with, we need to ask the question, what is a database? The answer is that a database can be many things. It's simply a collection of data. Whatever that data is depends on the kind of database we're looking at. Examples of databases that we use in our everyday lives could be our address book, where we keep our personal information about our friends, a card index, a very simple method of keeping track of data, files in a directory tree, such as on your computer's hard disk drive. For instance, if you're using a Windows machine, you may have directory windows within your hard disk C. So that would be one way of structuring data. Another database we use in our everyday lives would be the database system that stores your account details in your bank's systems. That is, of course, a much more complex kind of database system. Another point of confusion arises because people use the word database to mean two quite different things. One is, as we've just found out, a collection of data. However, it's also come to be used in a looser sense to mean the systems that manage the data. However, in a strict sense, when we talk about the data, the collection of data, we call that the database. And when we talk about the software, we call that database management system. As an analogy, we could look at the database as the library, whereas the database management system is the librarian who, when we ask the librarian for a certain piece of data, it can go through the library and locate the particular piece of data that we need. Examples of database management systems, otherwise known as DBMSs, are Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft Access, MSQL, PostgreSQL, and, as I'm sure you're familiar with since you're using this course, MySQL. All of these software packages and more have their own individual merits. It's not really worth us looking at the differences between the different database management systems, but suffice it to say that they all have their own peculiarities, MySQL being a particularly flexible and fully featured, very powerful example of a database management system that nevertheless will not break your bank. In the next movie, we're going to take a look at the difference between relational database management systems and any other kind of database management.